um, uh, before we get anything started today, uh, I, I would like to ask for the people here at this table right now to just bow their heads in, uh, in remembrance of Scott Storch's bank account where he blew Scott Storch, Scott Storch! Uh, so much <laughs> money, just cocaine alone. Like, he couldn't just throw that our way or some shit. My like man that. had mountains of coke like Scarface did. He had to be OD. How come niggas still alive? I, I had no clue. I wish I would spend thirty million dollars in six months on. When drugs. I saw that, I was like, "This got to be fake." Um, but, uh, it wasn't. At the same time, I'd like to point out that you just did all that, and I thought you were gonna do it for MJ. Who? You know, I thought you were gonna do it for Dusty Rhodes. I thought he was gonna do it for MJ. Niggas is way off tonight. It's, it's, you got it. First MJ. of all, you're a bigger Michael Jackson fan than I am. And by the way, in, I'm gonna give a shout out to Michael Jackson because it's his six year anniversary. I Dusty. mean, this ain't gonna come up for next month, but you know. Oh, well, yeah. Well. Our editor is just on point. He yeah, is. Our, editor, our editor is the best. He is. Yeah, okay, where's, where's our top ten other list? Hey, my editor got it, man. <laughs> he said he got to prime it up. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I legitimately hit that shit on accident. <laughs> Doesn't that, matter. That was an accidental though. But uh, this uh, top ten is gonna be short. It's gonna be simple. It's our top ten sitcoms uh, ever. Ever. Some of these you're gonna know. Some of these you grew up with. Some of these you forgot about because you ain't seen them in a while. But hopefully we can do like we did on the other top 10 list. Uh, other than the other top 10 list because I edited got that one. And you'll be shocked by the names we throw out because uh, the responses have been crazy. And uh, once again, we're gonna start off on the end with the architect of Well Down. And we're gonna let him. Yes, that's right. The architect. Of well, damn. <laughs> Why? I don't think we're watching too much wrestling. Yeah. Why yeah, we have uh, Why are we the architect? You hit me with a goddamn chair. I'm killing you in your sleep. <laughs> so you must not want to make it through the night. <laughs> Basically, our Scott Hall to our WDP. Um, go ahead, bro, and hit us with your top ten sitcoms. Okay. So, just to start off the list, my list is the age varies. Really? It's waiting. <laughs> no, it's waiting, nigga. I was gonna say the age varies because I watched a lot of sitcoms with my dad growing up, so they, some of them are really old. Like my number, my ten. My number ten for sitcoms is the Andy Griffith Show. Why did? As soon as you said so much, your father, I was like, Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith was gonna pop up sometime. <laughs> yeah, Andy Griffith Show is number ten. I just, it's just memories with my dad. Um, number nine is All in the Family. Number. Eight is MASH. Seven. Is sitcom? You watched some white ass show when you were growing up. Uh, he was watching TV Land when he Dude, was growing he up. He was. Do you do you realize I'm I, I am white. No matter how much you guys want to it's not admit. Every time you went out for door, I realized it more. <laughs> I don't care, I'm gonna keep going. I know MASH was a sitcom though. No. Yes, yeah, it was a sitcom. I never watched it, so I, no. I didn't know. Uh, you didn't watch MASH? Missed out, it was pretty funny. Yeah, it was a good it was a good show. Um uh number seven is that seventy show. Okay, yeah, I see that. Number six, uh, Saved by the Bell. Accident. <laughs> Fuck you, that was such bullshit. I, the screen went black, yeah, bitch. It was accident. Went black. Um, Thank you for those who the fucking screen went black, and I okay. didn't see what was on the screen. Thank you. Uh, number five is Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Number four is How I Met Your Mother. Number three is Parks and Recs. Number two is Big Bang Theory, and number one is Scrubs because I have watched more Scrubs than any other sitcom ever. Even though Parks and Recs and How I Met Your Mother are catching up, I'm not gonna lie. But that's my list. I'm gonna say my list, and I'm gonna tell you the irony that I have a show, but you have Parks and Rec because I don't know how you can have Parks and Rec without this show. Oh. Oh. Number okay. ten. I know. Wait, you done, right? You yeah, good? Yeah, done. You good? Okay. Number 10, Mork and Mindy. Wow. What's wow. up with y'all watching TV Land? Nanu, na TV Land, bitch. I was, this is, wait, listen. Trust me. This is OG Robin Williams. Rest in peace, my dude. Rest in peace, fam. Uh, number 9, Living Single. We are living single. Oh, sorry. All right, we good. Um, number eight, A Different World. Number six, no, number seven, sorry. Shut up. Number seven, Roseanne. Oh, wow. Wow. 
Like I knew, I thought about Listen, it. I thought about it, but I did not expect that to be on your Roseanne list. Roseanne was so dope because they were broke as fuck. Just like all the other black shows that was out, they were broke as fuck. It was just making shit happen. Roseanne was dope too. They won the lottery. Number six, The Office. I'm. How do you have Parks and Rec and don't have The Office? Because, if honestly, the U, I think it's because the U.S. Office kind of. I watched the U.K. Office. Mm-hmm. Because I watched a lot of BBC, and it's just the U.S. office kind of just started ruining it for me. I hate to say it, because it's not that it was bad, but it wasn't as good as U.K. office. Like, if you haven't seen U.K. office, watch it. It's, it's a dope show. Well, but. well, you got to understand British humor in order to understand that version of office. I do, so yeah. I can understand why you and say that. It's like, so because of that, the, U, the U.S. office kind of, like, the office in my head just kind of, like, fell off. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Number five, Martin. Number four, The Fresh Prince. Number three, Scrubs. Hey. Number two, The Cosby Show. And number one. Which, if you don't know this man by now, yeah, it's a The damn God thing. of sitcoms. Larry David. Jerry Seinfeld put together a juggernaut. The show about nothing. Give him a tight zoom. Seinfeld, Kramer, Cosmo Kramer, George Costanza, Elaine Bennis, Jerry Seinfeld, Seinfeld, the best sitcom of all time. Don't debate me. It's useless. And don't email tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. It's the best sitcom of all time. Tell I'm wrong? Yeah. Bitch, you just heard what I said. If you, if you disagree with what I just said, you're wrong. That's all I feel right now. Just like, he's wrong too. <laughs> they should have threw his ass in that lava and avoided all this. Alright, uh, my top 10, I got one just outside, one that could have really made the list, but it's still not established yet, and that's Mike and Molly. That's number 11. Because that show is actually very funny on the sneak. And it's not even with the two main characters, it's just like with the African dude. See, I almost put King Queens up there. I was about to do that too. That would have been like, Right there on the cusp. King Queens, Hot Met Your Mother, were right there on the cusp. Everybody Loves Raymond could have been on that list. Nah, I didn't really. It know. was actually kind of funny towards the end. In the beginning, though. No. See, if I if I had to put it in eleven and eleven and twelve, would be Kings and Queens, Kings of Queens, twelve, and then uh, U UK Office would be eleven. So. so my official list, number ten, Growing Pains. Good that's one. a show that started off Leonardo DiCaprio's acting career, and uh, now you see where he's at. Boner. Basically. Awesome. Number nine is the Steve Harvey show. That show was funny as fuck. Really was. Bullethead and all of them. Uh, oh boy, died, by the way. He got killed. Number eight, Seinfeld. Just because I didn't really get into that show. I didn't really get to that show until like a few years ago when I could actually understand the fuck was going on, like with the humor and shit. Are you ready to get It's four points for you for not even having on the list. Uh, you, you do realize like the age gap that I signed up with. Oh, you had the Andy Griffith show on your list. That shit has been My dad didn't watch my show. That shit has been in syndication for like 30 years, dog. Not 30. Like 20 years, dog. Okay. I just, I just Age gap is nothing. This shit is on TBS every fucking night. But he don't watch cable? I don't. You know the last time I actually watched TV, like cable TV, was like five years ago? Seinfeld was on. Continue on. Number seven. No. Number seven is the Golden Girls. Don't judge me. That show was funny as shit. A bunch of old ass chicks going out and doing some shit that they know good and goddamn well they shouldn't be doing. That was you a good how much one. sex. You know how much sex they had on that show. That was a good one, Lawrence. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. Number six. Hanging with funny? Mr. Cooper. Get the fuck. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. I was my shit. That shit was my shit. Fuck you. That was my shit. Up until they put Raven Simone and like her mom in there. Like the first two or three seasons, that show was the shit. Uh, number five, A Different World. Real dope. I wish certain things, like that first season was kind of iffy. Everything else after that was pretty If I had a kendo stick, I would whop you over the head like eight times. Let me finish my list. Go ahead. Number four, How I Met Your Mother. 
number four, How I Met Your Mother. I didn't like the ending. Like, I didn't like the last season. That killed everything for me. Yeah. The last is, season killed the entire show. And, and the last episode. Like, we, It's still a good show. I still like the show, yeah, but the like, last season, that last season disqualified I mean, it from being in top ten for me. I mean, I guess I can understand, because that's how I felt about watching Lost. It pissed me off so much. Watching Lost, if you watch Lost, like I didn't, but I heard that shit. You st- oh yeah. God! Oh yeah. yeah. I spent eight years of my life watching a TV show just to find out the entire TV show was irrelevant. Spoilers, by the way. The entire, if you were watching Lost right now, I just spoiled the entire. I don't think you can say spoilers anymore. It's been like, how long has it been since three? Long? You should have watched it already. I, was like, I just watched it like a month ago. <laughs> Ain't no spoilers no more, dog. You just behind. Yeah, no. The the it's a it was a waste of eight years of my life. Continuing. Yeah. What was that? How, uh, much mother? how much mother? Number three, Martin. Martin was pretty uh, funny. The characters on there was pretty dope. Number two, Fresh Pets of Bel Air, because like you can watch that show. Yep. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. But number two, because that's like that's one of those shows where like if we ever had kids, we can actually sit down and watch it. And we don't feel like oh damn, that's a little too old for you to be watching it. It's like it's real funny. Number one. Go ahead and press the button, I don't give a fuck. Nah, Number one, the Cosby Show. Not many careers were launched and destroyed off of that show. Lisa Bomay could have been somebody. Is she not somebody? Not anymore. She's married to Aquaman now. Well, Bill Cosby ain't nobody no more. That, no, those are, yo, fuck y'all, man. That's America's dad, man. Why y'all do that? Because he did it. Why that, y'all do that? That, he don't, he, that nigga all, did that first shit. First of all, does Bill Cosby from back in the day look like the type of nigga that had to take some pussy? Yes. Be real. I was surprised that Claire was giving up for, for, for free. I'm surprised they hadn't fucked at all. That the nigga, way they interacted on that show. That nigga was young disease. and looked old. Yeah, they have been in the disease? Like, no, because if you see him now, he, his entire comedy acts are done in a chair with a mic around it. He can't. Because he, he old as shit. He, he about five rape allegations away from having a heart attack and dying. Yeah, that eye, that one eye is You know what, fuck you, Bill Cosby, because you can't keep your goddamn hands to yourself. They don't show Cosby show on TV no more. No, they still show it on TV. Where? TV one. I don't even know what channel that is. What is that? <laughs> it's like the alternative, it's like the grown alternative to BET. That's it, that's all. Why that's the all fuck would I watch that? Like, <laughs> that's, that's the only channel I Is that the I channel know. that be, the, uh, they put the Tom Jordan Cruises on? Or who, who do the Cruises uh, No, nah, I think that's Century. Oh, okay. TV One, TV One actually does a great documentary series, uh, series called Unsung, and they like. Go That's who does that. Shit. Yeah, gotcha. they, they, that shit's basically behind the music, just low budget. Yeah, uh, behind the music uh, for old black bands. We lost you on this whole thing, didn't we? I, like I said, I haven't watched cable TV in five years. 